Hey guys, welcome, Thunder E here, and this is my EDC travel edition. I'm taking an international trip, heading to Computex and also to Japan afterwards, so I have to take everything that I need on the road. So this is not a typical EDC video. Granted, I've never done one before. So let's go ahead and jump in and see some of the things we have here. I've got a plethora of stuff, but one of the most important things is my backpack and what I need to take everything that I have in here. This is the Air City Pro backpack. And if you know Air, uh, they make some really good pack backpacks. Uh, they also make uh, luggages as well, which I'm actually taking on this trip. But I like this backpack because it's got compartments galore and it's going to fit a lot of things in here. Now, this has, you know, a front zipper here, which is nice. Kind of just put some documents, a few things there. And then you also have this top zipper as well that kind of opens up to the larger compartment and actually carry some comic books as well with me on the road which is nice then uh we have like sleeves for smartphones if your smartphones can fit uh, little pocket pouches and then another huge accessible area here so there's this kind of hidden compartment here where I usually hide like extra cables. Uh, so there's a USB type C cable here. Uh, this is from Anchor. Uh, just a nice little tucked in space over there. We just zip that up. And in front of the space that I just opened is another spot as well. So we kind of have like the large area here where you have you can put the bulk of all your stuff, uh, which will house my cameras and all that fun stuff. And then at the back, I do have the slot for, of course, uh, my laptop, tablets, you name it here. So it's a pretty cool backpack. I like it, um, fits very well. Now, since this is an international trip, uh, probably about 16 hours or so, I usually carry headphones, but for the last couple of years, I've been using um, earbuds and I carry more than one. So I've got my uh, Galaxy Buds 2 Pro, and then I've got my AirPods uh, Pro 2. I've also got the new Nothing Buds. So you're wondering why three? Well, number one, I'm traveling for 16 hours, so I could swap <laughs> and then charge the other ones, but they're all great. Uh, the Galaxy Buds and the AirPods have some really good noise cancellation, so I use this the most. And this is kind of like my backup when I definitely need that there in terms of just use case scenario. So that's where that fits into it. Now, of course, I'll be watching a lot of content on that trip. And with me on this trip, I'm taking the iPad Pro 2024 right here. It's a bad boy. Now, I'm also using it with the folio case and not the um, Magic Keyboard case, just because I can just place it, stand it, put it down so that I can just watch content on the flight. Um, it's easy for me to hold, especially if I want to read some manga as well, you know, so that's pretty good. And then the pencil, of course, just easily attaches as well. So to me, this is a no brainer for a long flight. I've got all my shows downloaded, so I'm pretty much ready to go there. Now, if I'm not watching content, I am going to be gaming because you guys know I do a lot of gaming on the channel. And I have two accessories that I think uh, a lot of you would like. First is my ROG Ally. Now, this bad boy is gonna do a lot of gaming on the trip for me. Uh, I like it because I can install my games from Steam, um, you know, from Blizzard, uh, directly from Xbox and game on here. Now, battery life is roughly around two hours, but I can charge on the plane, so that's good. Um, and also can watch content off here, but I have my iPad, so this is gonna be doing a lot of gaming. I do have it with this uh, TomTalk case. Now, I do have the Asus case, but I like this because this is a hard shell case, but also you can see it's a thinner case, so it's much easier for me to just kind of like drop it in the case, close it up, which means it's not gonna get damaged, especially if you're throwing stuff in uh, the overhead bin, on the flights, that kind of stuff. It's cool. The other gaming device I have is this bad boy. This is the APDU Lite 2. Now, this is a portable controller that I really like. Connects to your my iPad, my smartphone, my PC, laptop, Mac, you name it. This is gold. Also, comes in pink. It's nice. I've got the M2 MacBook Pro. 
Um, and the reason I like it is because of battery life. It's that simple, guys. I, I'm a PC user, but there's no Snapdragon X Elite PC yet. So I'll be taking this with me. I can, of course, edit on the go. It does have a full SD card slot, which is nice, HDMI. Um, I still carry this though, uh, which is from Anchor, which is, you know, like a little dongle thing, just in case. You know, this SD card slot could stop working for whatever reason, who knows, right? It's good to have a backup. So I take that, and because I like backups of backups, I have another one from Anchor, a smaller one, uh, just in case that one does work. You know, gotta make sure, gotta make sure, right? So there's that. Um, and then of course I need to charge my devices. Um, so I do have a couple of ways to charge. So normally I, I travel with this Anker 100 watt GAN charger here. This has two USB type C ports, USB A you can see here, it says smartphone PC and it boom, folds. So this is good enough on flights, although it's a bit thick, so it might, you know, be loose when you plug it into a plane. We'll see how it is on my flight there. Uh, but it does work well. Now, while I'm in Taipei and in Japan, I need to plug into, of course, international ports. You know, a travel adapter is great, but this one from Tessan is really nice. I can charge my laptop directly from this, but if I'm connected to other things, at least it would distribute 100 watts you know, into whatever petitions that it does. It does have two type C's, two type A's, and of course, all the different country ports that you, you need. Of course, you know, the UK, Europe, and of course the US as well, you know, in case you are traveling to the US. So this is great. As you know, I'll have the links for you, everything for you guys to check out and you can use. Now, camera gear. I'm taking my A7S III, um, I think this is probably the dude who's going to do the best job for me. Now, normally when I fly, I take the ZV-E1, but honestly, I do like the image quality of the A7S III. It just does a much better job. And I'll be taking two lenses with me. I'll be taking my 24 to 70 and also the Sigma 20 millimeter here, which is nice in case I want to do some ultra wide shots and do this. It's heavy. I do have a lighter one, but it doesn't give me enough bokeh in the back, gotta keep the beauty in front. You know what I mean? You get that. Now, the other thing too is the SD cards I'm taking with me, uh, which is quite interesting. I've got two SD cards. I've got one from Kingston, which is one terabyte, 280 megabits per second. So it's pretty cool. I can store a lot of stuff. And my second SD card is a Samsung 520 gigabytes. That is a waterproof SD card. So that at least has me covered, me once fully protected, that is about 200 uh, megabits per second for the Samsung. And then the, of course, Kingston, which, you know, has a lot of storage. I do have a lens filter as well. Uh, this is a variable lens filter from KNF Concepts. I also need a microphone. And I am taking this microphone from Hollyland, which is the Lark M2. What I love about it is that it's this small. You can't really see it because that's actually the magnetic clip here. You can pin it on you anywhere you go. Plus it comes with two units, can connect to smartphones. So even if I'm not using my camera, you're using my smartphones, that actually works. Speaking of smartphones, taking two smartphones with me, I lied, three. I'm taking the Galaxy S24 Ultra. I'm taking the iPhone 15 Pro Max and the Pixel 8a. Now you're wondering why three phones? Well, um, I usually carry the iPhone, the Galaxy all the time. The Galaxy is my main device, uh, and that has my T-Mobile SIM, which I can use internationally. The iPhone, I do really like to use it if I need to quickly capture content as well. And also, since I'm going to Japan, my Super card, yes, which you need to catch the train in subway in Japan, is on that, <laughs> on the iPhone. So I need that in Japan. Uh, and the Pixel, because I use Google Fi as my secondary phone number, works really well on Pixel phones. I could also put it on my Galaxy, but you know, I. Depends on what I want to do. But I figure having a backup to a backup, as you can see, I like redundancy. It's common with all the stuff I have. It makes it easy for me to use. Now, accessories are an important thing and I have a few of them. Uh, this is like the Rugged Pro case and Rugged case from Spigen. Uh, this allows you to put like cables, wires. In this case, I don't have a case for this, so it's going in here. <laughs> Now, this is pretty cool. This is a passport holder from Spigen. I love about this is that, first of all, if you have cards or like license or TSA card you wanna put in here or documents, you can slip it in here as well as your passport. And then, like true techies, you've got a SIM tool. So if you wanna use a SIM, 
in your travels, uh, like a physical SIM, you can actually use it there. You can store your SIMs. So if you're traveling with different SIMs, SIMs one and two, you can do that. But in my case, I'm using the eSIM, and I'll be using it from Air Allo. So um, check them out. It's not sponsored. Hopefully they sponsor, or hopefully they sponsor by the time the video goes live. You never know. My cleaner, which helps me clean uh, displays and also brushes of dust. Pretty nice. So. While I'm filming on Computex, where there be grubby hands all over the place, I get to use that. Now, finally, this is a little dolly from Newer. What's cool about this is this thing sets up pretty easily and you mount your camera on top. And if you want to do like panning shots and you're like me and your hands are like this, when you're filming. I mean, honestly, most of my footage just kind of looks like, if I'm tuning in myself, it's like, ooh, it's shaky. So I can set this up, take the trusty remote and just zoom, do some panning shots with it left and right. Um, you know what, let me even show you. Let's, let's hook it up, let's do it now. Live demo. They say don't do it. They say it's dangerous. I say bollocks. So let's create some space here. Go ahead and turn this on. Now it's best to use a little padding head on here, but you get the idea. And look at that. You can take that panning shot right there of the product you want and stop. Ooh, look at it. Right in front of my Ray-Bans. That's all I need to do. But I like that. You can make it slower, you can make it faster, and you can pause. So that's a really cool tool that I think will help me uh, shoot on the road. And then finally, what I'll be using to just capture content generally are the Ray-Ban Metas. I love these things, man. These are the best pair of augmented glasses you can find. Now, they've been updated with AI features, which I haven't used that much. There's some translation they can do, so I will try that in um, Japan and you know in Taiwan, but what I love is that they just fit and they look great. I look smashy, you know, that's, that's the whole idea. But I can record, I can capture, and also I can record, you know, if I'm, if I'm doing a hands-on on a device uh, at, at Computex, I can literally just hold it in front of me, right? And do my hands-on. So I like them, I think they're dope, and I think that's pretty much it. Uh, my EDC content uh, varies from trip to trip, uh, especially because I'm going for about two weeks. I need as much as I, I can carry, which is why I technically have two chargers. One of course is the Anchor and the other one is the Tessan, but you get the whole idea, guys. I will leave a link for you guys in the description of the video so you guys can pick out whatever devices you want to pick out and buy. Uh, but I think um, this should help you on the trip and hopefully you found something useful from here. This is Thunder Yi saying thank you and always enjoy your entertainment.